what happened Google Gemini and Anthropics Cloud, which just came out last week. Uh, in the last two weeks, these two models have made significant gains uh, in, in the major benchmarks. And it, what that shows is AI progress is accelerating, uh, which is very bullish for the whole um, AI trade and the whole AI industry. What that means is all these uh, more powerful models and all these capabilities will be enabled where AI adoption from companies will accelerate over the next uh, four quarters, which is very positive for NVIDIA because uh, OpenAI is going to look at what Anthropic and Gemini did. And um, right now, uh, OpenAI is going to benefit from these new NVL72 clusters that NVIDIA has rolled out uh, just in the last quarter. And, and right, at, right now, uh, Microsoft has these data centers filled with these NVL72 AI servers from NVIDIA. And OpenAI is going to train on those new, more powerful clusters. So I fully expect it mm. in the coming months uh, OpenAI will come out with a much better performing model, uh, just following the scaling laws that Anthropic and Google have done with Gemini. Mm -mm. And in the bigger picture, sort of uh, going beyond this whole TPU-related market narrative, uh, AI bubble narrative uh, certainly played out. And in some parts of the market, it actually moved the needle. But what do you think? I mean, I know that you're very much against that idea that this is not a bubble. We're just getting started. What do you think those folks who are in the AI bubble camp are getting wrong at the moment? Uh, I just think we're right at the beginning of a multi-year, multi-quarter kind of acceleration of AI demand. And what we're seeing right mm. now is uh, the use cases starting to take off. A lot of companies are finding huge productivity gains from, from using AI and AI agents and AI models. So we're still at the beginning, the early innings of the stages. The other thing is um, AI bubble, you need to have very high valuations. And if you compare to the dot-com bubble, um, AI, mm. AI stocks right now are from the major companies are about 25 to 30 times earnings, which I think those earnings are mm. understated. I think uh, the earnings will be, come, up, come in mu much higher than expectations. Back in the dot-com bubble, all the stocks uh, leading the market were trading 100 times forward earnings. So it's a completely different um, situation in terms of valuations. Do you think the same about the data center build out cycle? So use cases picking up, productivity is growing, but where are we in terms of AI uh, data center build out cycle? So the data center cycle is accelerating to a degree that's never been seen in history. Um, one really neat fact is TD Callen said in, in the September quarter, more data center capacity was leased than all of last year. So we're seeing the step function exponential increase uh, in data center capacity. And the reason why companies are building out the data center capacity is they're seeing the demand from customers like startups and enterprises that are, are integrating this AI and building out mm. their AI model. So what we've seen this year, every single quarter, March quarter, June quarter, September quarter, all the major hyperscalers have increased their CapEx production projections over the next year. So they're seeing the demand. Microsoft and Amazon have said uh, they're going to double their data center capacity over the next four quarters. And they're doing that for a reason, because they're, they're seeing overwhelming demand for the limited capacity they have. Mm. And this uh, AI circular uh, investment um, behavior, that was a very important layer of AI bubble narrative. Uh, but you're basically saying that NVIDIA's and uh, other companies, they're not spending money like drunken sailors. Uh, there are actually some certain milestones that, that need to be hit here. So that's something that we're not really, that need to worry about. And that doesn't really necessarily lead to AI bubble. But if there is a weaker link here, Tay, then the whole AI circular thing breaks down, no? Uh, so the circular thing, I think, is overplayed in the sense that a lot of this stuff hasn't happened yet. I mean, a lot of these deals are kind of back unloaded uh, from mm. 2008 to 2030. Uh, the NVIDIA OpenAI deal that everyone quotes is, hasn't even been finalized yet. Um, and if it does happen, it will be staged one gigawatt at a time, one year at a time. So, and it all depends on milestones on both sides. So OpenAI and NVIDIA can dial up and dial down as needed, uh, depending on how demand comes in. So the most important thing is, is demand going to accelerate? Is AI adoption going to accelerate over the next few quarters? And I think that's going to happen. And then a lot of these financing fears will go away.